So, instead of uh, buying uh, 60,000 peso times how many hot boxes, professional real ones for each cafeteria, Adventist, Seventh-day Adventist cafeteria here in the Philippines, uh, the Lord has helped us to uh, experiment on this. So, uh, just a little bit note, you might want to try this, but I have want to, uh, to guide you with safety. Uh, uh, one of the worries I was having when I was thinking about this is that uh, convection. Is it really safe? Because this, this uh, hair blower, inside the hair blower there's just a coil. And the coil, both ends are connected to 220 and it glows. It glows hot. Maybe it doesn't glow, but it becomes hot. The wire, the small wire becomes hot and air is forced through that wires and the air that's forced through that wires catches the heat from the wires that are hot and the air becomes hot. How do, is it safe for, uh, for moist, for hot? And then I remember the uh, car heaters. Uh, we used to have a van that had a heater. I opened up the heater inside the van from Korea, the Korean van, and I saw coils inside, 12 volt coils, and air would just be forced through those 12 volt hot coils. So it's safe for uh, human breathing also, aside from the hair dryer. Another example would be the uh, clothes dryer, the electric clothes dryer. And guess what's inside? According to the manual, uh, we should, the reason there is a lint filter on the clothes dryer is so that the lint will not go through the coils. That, that means the heat from the clothes dryer are just real, uh, just coils and there's a filter before that so that the lint will not be entangled with the coils because if the lint goes to the coils and gets tangled up with the coils and the coils become hot and glow, they will start fire. So uh, I think for convection, uh, the clothes dryer is more dangerous than this one because <laughs> you're not going to put the food on fire it's the food is normally uh, wet will not get fire but the clothes will get fire more easily than the than the than the food uh, additionally for loading <coughs> we have to it's better that you have something like this a watt meter so you know if the labels of the of the devices are correct and uh, do not overload your circuits make sure you compute everything make sure you compute everything because heaters take a lot of electricity you have to understand ohm's law you have to understand the ratings of wirings do not try if you don't understand you might burn down the whole cafeteria so if you're not uh, confident about that you can ask the engineering department or you can ask uh, those who had el electrical electrical uh, training or background especially training uh, so i cannot overemphasize uh, i'm not an engineer but i have i'm a hobbyist and i teach in the engineering Electric electronics engineering department and uh, I studied electronics by myself when I was high school and those are my interests <coughs> and uh, of course I've made lots of mistakes already and uh, please don't <laughs> make mistakes also and uh, what else don't make sure that the electricity and the water and liquid water don't get in touch together because you might get electrocuted. There is no metal casing for this uh, hot box, but it is safe to ground the metal casing just in case you the coils uh, get biased to the case. Make sure the case, the elect, the stainless case or the refrigerator case is grounded for safety, and only load. If you have a only only load half uh, and put circuit breakers and emergency switches and uh, maybe we can also build alarms because these are 
this have to maintain assets food assets maybe you can put alarms that will text you if the thermometer doesn't work or the something doesn't work independent uh, battery operated alarms that can text you if there is something wrong so that you can just wake up at night and uh, check what's happening so that's all uh, i hope everybody will try to do this and uh, the goal is to avoid sabbath cooking in a large way in a big way not just the home but especially in big service <coughs> food service uh, organizations have a nice day and we praise the lord for all of these uh, improvements